Uh, now, I think both sides have made requests to reopen the evidence on behalf of the defense. There were some issues with uh, cell phone records, and the state has uh, found an additional uh, witness that they would like to present. And the instruction I provided on Tuesday was that for today, I think we've reached the point where I'd like to hear more of how some of the legal arguments apply to what has already been presented. And it may already be possible for me to make a decision uh, without those needing to be material uh, to that decision. So that's why we're here today. I wanted to make sure we held this time because it is a bit of a logistical challenge to get everyone in a room together. Uh, so, but recognizing that, um, again, in the interest of efficiency, if both parties want to reserve part of their time to argue as if those proffered uh, exhibits have been admitted, feel free to make whatever arguments you, you would like. And if, in fact, it turns out that I do need those to be part of the record to make a decision, then we'd have to come back and we will do those in accordance with the rules of evidence. Judge Scott McAfee highlights the critical importance of adhering to established rules and procedures in legal proceedings, stressing the need for strong legal arguments and concrete evidence. He discusses how judges must make decisions even when faced with uncertainty, showcasing their ability to adapt to changing circumstances. McAfee advocates for maintaining procedural effectiveness and efficient resource management to overcome logistical challenges. He urges consideration of all arguments, recognizing the subjectivity of decisions based on available information and emphasizes the significance of individual perspectives in legal proceedings.